All right, guys, we're back with a video. And in this lesson, I'm going to teach you guys about how to solve quadratics. So as you guys see here, this is a quadratic, right? It's it as a square is equal to zero. So there's four methods, right? These four methods right here, and I'm going to teach you all four. So the first method is called factoring, which we have to factor in this equation. So if you guys look at my TikToks, right, you guys know, are going to know how to factor. If not, comment below and I might make a video on factoring. So how are you going to factor this? So that's equal to 2x times x, right? Because 2x times x is equal to 2x squared. And now let's see, what can make 12? Negative 12. That's equal to negative 6 and 2 maybe. Yep. So that's negative 6 plus 2. And that is it. Okay, so because now we have factored this, we make the two equations, 2x minus 6 is equal to 0, and x plus 2 is equal to 0. If you guys solve this, you'll get x is equal to, this is 3 and negative 2. So that's going to be our answer, and that's how you're going to do factoring. And next, we're going to have to use the quadratic formula, which is probably the best, best known equation in math, and it's right here. So the solution is equal to negative b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a where a in this case is equal to 1 b is equal to negative 2 and c is equal to negative 15. so how are we going to do this we're going to plug in the values and then we'll have the answers so what's negative b that's negative negative 2 plus minus square root of negative 2 squared, which is negative 2 squared, minus 4ac, which is minus, what's 4 times, all right, that's 4 times 1 times negative 15, over 2a, 2a is 1, so that's 2 times 1, and then we could distribute this and simplify, giving us 2, negative negative 2 is 2, plus minus square root of 4 minus uh, 4 times 15 is 60, negative of negative 60 is 60, plus 60 over 2. That can be simplified to 2 plus minus square root of 64 over 2. And as, as you guys know, square root of 64 is 8. So that's equal to 2 plus minus 8 over 2, which is 2 minus 8 over 2, and 2 plus 8 over 2. Simplify these two, giving us x is equal to, that's negative 6 over 2, which is negative 3, and... 2 plus 8 is 10, 10 divided by 2 is 5, meaning our answer is going to be negative 3 and 5. So that's how you're going to use the quadratic equation, and you're just going to plug in the values of a, b, and c. The next method we have is called graphing, which requires you to have a graphing calculator. So this is not always going to be the me best method, but in this case, if you plug in the equation x squared minus 8x plus 12 into your calculator, you're gonna get a graph that resembles something along these lines. And your answer is gonna be the x-intercepts, which is basically the points where it hits the x-intercept. The x-intercept is this line right here, and the y-intercept is this line right here. So your points are gonna be two and six, meaning those are your answers. So that's how you're gonna use the graphing method. It's not a method I always advise because sometimes, unless it's an integer, it's hard to tell what the answer is. So it's better to use any of the previous two methods of doing it. And the last method only works for multiple choice. And I make these so during the SAT, if you have multiple choice questions, it can be done easier. So it's called plugging in, which is a pretty good method sometimes. So what you're gonna do is plug in the values of X as the answers are given and see which ones are true. So in this case, I only have two answers, um, three, two, or two, negative one. In this case, when I plugged in the values of 3 and negative 1, only one of them worked, and it was negative 1, meaning that our answer for method 4 is going to be B. So that's how you're going to do these type of questions. I advise using um, method 1, which is factoring, or method 2, which is using the quadratic formula. But any of the other methods are pretty nice too. So that's how you guys are going to solve quadratics, and thanks for watching.